The Purple People Bridge is the most used trail in the tri-state, used by 700,000 people every year. And it stands out, of course, because of its color, or lack thereof. Tessa DiTiro joins us with some plans to freshen up the landmark. Tessa? Well, Rob and Paula, the idea is to make sure this bridge lives up to its name, Purple People Bridge. And right now it looks a little bit more like the light blue People Bridge. The owner, Newport South Bank Bridge Company, wants to have you help pay for a fresh coat of paint. I think this is an iconic spot. It makes Cincinnati unique. Sophia Beatty remembers coming here as a kid. I have really fond memories of me and my family just like walking back and forth. Of course, it was a lot warmer, but I love it now and I love showing people. Today, she's showing her hometown to her friend Abby. The Purple People Bridge is one of their stops. Definitely cool. Um, definitely something that I don't have back home where you can just like walk across. If you cross today for the first time or the 100th, you can easily see the unique character. <laughs> Music is playing. There are areas to leave personal memories like padlocks and signatures, and you can see the wear and tear. Paint only lasts for a period of time, and so we're at the point now where not only do we need to paint the bridge, but we actually do need to scrape some of the, you know, some of the loose paint off and do all the necessary painting or maintenance with that. Moreland says that price tag is one million dollars. I think it's a fantastic idea. I think it would draw a lot more attention to it and it goes well with the yellow over there. Whether it's more purple or not, I don't have thought about that, but if it needs painted, that should be done. The project has two parts. After the fresh coat of paint, Moreland says they would like to light up the bridge with LED lights. It is an attraction. We have to look upon it as an asset, but if you have an asset, you certainly have to keep it maintained. So events like Party on the Purple and Boom on the Bridge do help raise money for the painting project, but it doesn't really make a dent in the $1 million they need. So the owner is asking for people who love and use the bridge to help pitch in. On the Purple People Bridge, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Tessa, thanks very much. If you're so inclined, we have a link to go the GoFundMe page at our website, local12.com. Just click on the story or the Get It Now links.